Tonight, Battleground Georgia, a possible indicator of whether Democrats can hold on to crucial voters they swayed in 2020. I'm worried about the country. I think uh, worried about our democratic system. Two years ago, Georgia shocked the political world by turning purple. Joe Biden, then John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock squeaked out narrow victories here by corralling a coalition of voters, including suburban women and young people. Women's rights is one of the biggest things. 20 year old Kayla Chambers now voting early for Warnock, but. I will say that, of course, going to the store and seeing those prices hike up, you're like, oh, what's going on, y'all? Here in Georgia, just 15% of registered voters ages 18 to 40 have voted so far, compared to nearly 50% of those between 50 and 75. Why do you think more young people haven't voted early, and is that a problem for Democrats? Well, I think there is a way in which um, our politics has become so divided that we still have a ways to go in terms of helping people to stay engaged in the process. Still, a record two and a half million people in the state have already cast their ballots in person or by mail. Governor, what do you see as the key issue to convince people who voted Democrat during the last election to switch to Republican this time around? Well, I think it's a pocketbook election and a public safety election. Just ask suburban voter Tori Cook, who told us today she voted early for Kemp enthusiastically and Herschel Walker reluctantly. What's the most important issue in this election? Probably the economy right now, and I think that Governor Kemp can uh, continue to lead Georgia and keep us first. Tonight, the state has launched an investigation into how hundreds of voters never received their absentee ballots in the mail. A judge has now extended the deadline for their votes to be counted until next week, Lester. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.